Hello, everyone. So I'm going to talk about a little bit of uh, Google Scholar. There are plenty of uh, websites or, or research uh, database that is, helps you to get the research article. So whenever you are writing a um, like a scholarly paper or quality paper or something uh, unique paper, so uh, never ever uh, search Google. And because Google has uh, all the good and bad things and all the junk things uh, you will pull up uh, through the keyword. But whenever you search Google Scholar, uh, the Google Scholar, scholar.google.com, uh, and then you will find all the scholarly article which has been published as a book or as a research memorandum or monograph or any other, uh, uh, you know, um, the grant publications or something like that, the conference proceeding. So all the scholarly papers are belongs to here. So for example, if I search sustainability in supply chain, whatever you're looking for, you'll, you'll find plenty of articles. You can see that how many thousands or millions of uh, papers you will get. So, but you can uh, always look for the, the concurrent, what I do used to like last uh, seven or eight years, for example, 2017 or right into 2024. So you can narrow it down, but not always it, it's up to you what research you are doing. If you are bringing some historical perspective, so uh, you should not do this uh, instantly. So you can play with this button. So, um, you can do like a last couple of years, 2010, 20, 2020, whatever. And sort by relevance is the, uh, you should keep it like this and then you'll find this one. The problem of Google Scholar, most of the databases are not free, but for like doing it, like if writing a paper, um, like an essay paper or research paper for undergrad and graduate program, uh, it's sufficient enough, uh, I believe you will get plenty of free uh, article. Uh, for example, uh, sustainable supply chain, if we get this, probably it will be good, but probably, and you have to go to a, like, a, you see that journal of cleaner production, it's a journal. So uh, I think it will not help you uh, either. So for example, assessing the social sustainability, uh, for example, it's close, it's not close match to me. And I go to the next one, supply chain collaboration for sustainability. It looks like um, it, it talks about the sustainable supply chain thing. So if you click it here, um, uh, like or here or there, you can see the open link and then you'll find uh, the PDF uh, file over here. So this is the way you can download the article. Once you download the article, you read the article. The most of the article has uh, uh, like abstract. Um, just give me a second so that I can share the right things. Uh, There we go. So, and then uh, uh, you'll, you'll see that if you uh, right click and open a new window, then the research article is in. So it's a very good journal, but uh, you'll, you are getting it free. So if you search it, then uh, you will get it. Yeah, some of the relevant article. You need 10, 15 articles to write a paper, so not more than this. So, before you read the whole paper, so many students are asking, oh, am I going to read all these two articles? Like a, every article is 10, 15 pages, 20 pages or more than this. No, answer is straight no. So you read the abstract for this paragraph. If you find this abstract is relevant uh, to your or, or like a topic you are going to write, then you just scroll through fast than what is talk about. You need not to go through the analysis. You see that outcomes. You need not to have like a methodological perspective or all the discussions 
And if you find, you see that a lot of, uh, you know, research uh, information, but you do not need all these because you are not doing your research here right now. But what is important if you find the results or discussions or contribution uh, headlines or, you know, uh, uh, before the conclusion part, then you'll find this kind of, uh, you know, you see that the what kind of framework you they used. Even framework is not important for you to write a paper, for example. So these are the part probably they didn't mention specifically. Every article is different. Every structure is different. Every writers are writing in a different way. So and if you read it here, and then probably you find, uh, you can correlate or relate then okay, what they're talking about, what was their findings and all this. So it is enough for you, I believe, uh, uh, to extract a couple of paragraph or a couple of sentences from here. Okay, this particular author is talking about this. So one more important thing is whenever you want, you decided that, okay, you did this paper, and you are coding this paper and from you, you always don't copy paste from the article. You paraphrase the idea and put it in your uh, report. So citation is uh, very uh, easy. You see that every paper has a site here. The, normally I do follow um, APA or um, any, any method you are following. So just APA, you see that just copy the references you can put underneath your uh, uh, write-up as the references you used. So also you can, if you have any of this software, you can export it so that it will automatically goes there so that each future reference you can find out, okay, these are the article I have gone through if you have any, but it's not important. So, so also, but in the body, then you should write, for example, there are so many authors, if there is a two or two, uh, more than, uh, three authors, it, you should write like a Chan at L 2017 and in the bracket. If it is a two author, for example, Chan and Tang 2017. If it's a one author, Chan 2017. So this is how you refer in the body and then full reference, just copy and paste to the uh, references. So this is the way you can uh, use Google Scholar is enough for even I do not search any of other databases. For example, there are so many databases like SSN, there is an web of science, but there is plenty, plenty of uh, network might have. So I do uh, follow what the research article uh, in uh, Google Scholar. You see that this is my account. If I go to the my profile, it, it shows all the research paper I'm publishing. So how many people, uh, you know, put the references, uh, you know, cite my articles in last uh, five years, how many, um, you know, papers are cited, uh, my articles, this type of thing, who are my co-authors, obviously not all the co-authors are here. So this is how you can know then all the professors, uh, their profiles are what I'm doing about the, what kind of research I'm doing nowadays. Uh, so what are the topics, the diverse topics I have tried to cover. So this is how, this is the short, uh, you know, answer of so many of your questions that how you can get the the Google Scholar, how can you use the Google Scholarly articles and how to uh, paraphrase this, getting an idea and then how to reference them. I hope this will help you. Thank you. Bye.